Antonio Brown was once the best receiver, maybe the best player in all of football. Someone who's projected to be in the Hall of Fame and be a top 5 wide receiver of all time, despite being a 6 round pick. But since his multiple, multiple incidents, breakdowns, and abnormal behavior on social media and in person, the former NFL receiver has declared for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after making over 88 million in the NFL. And before we continue, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more daily NFL content. Turn on notifications, leave a like, do all that good stuff. Because 97% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So go ahead, help the channel out, drop a subscribe, help support the channel, and let's get back to the video. Antonio Brown recently has been known to be a troll on social media and I always say stuff that is true. Antonio Brown has been such a troll recently that he called Eagle safety Chauncey Gardner Johnson who also makes music like Antonio Brown. He called his music trash and said that he had to google who he was to find out who he was. Then Chauncey Gardner Johnson dropped a snippet or actually dropped a diss track against Antonio Brown with the cover saying clown. So trolling from Antonio Brown is a real thing. But the claim that he filed for bankruptcy seems to be real based off the actual legal claims that have been released. And not just the tweet he put out on CTESPN Network. His tweet says, Breaking news, hashtag CTESPN. NFL legend Antonio Brown has filed bankruptcy today. He will be a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2027. He will be releasing new music this summer. He also is the founder of the most trusted source in all of sports. The generational run continues. Now I don't think it's a shock to anyone that he filed for bankruptcy based off of everything that's happened to him since, he, since we last saw him in 2021 when he ran off an NFL field shirtless without pads basically going crazy. Antonio Brown made over 88 million during his insane run in the NFL. He didn't actually make all of that money when you include all the taxes and fees that he had to pay, the agent fees, all of that included that leaves him with about 50 to 60% of his money left. So why don't we just say for this example, he had about 50-ish million left since we last saw him in the NFL running off without a shirt. And real quick before we continue, big props to Tyler Webb for putting together this thread of all the information the money, the legal stuff, that's where I'm getting some of this information from. So huge props to him. I'll put a link to his Twitter in the description. So on top of the taxes and fees Antonio Brown had to pay, he also got himself into a lot of legal trouble. Dating back to January of 2020, Antonio Brown was arrested after failing to pay $4,000 to a moving company whose driver ended up suing Antonio Brown over assault and battery, which ended up in which ended up leaving Antonio Brown with an eight game suspension and he was ordered to pay the driver $1.2 million. Then in April of 2021, Antonio Brown paid his former trainer $100,000 for a sexual assault case and for breaking confidentiality. The case is very private so there isn't a lot of details really about this situation but rumors say that Antonio Brown ended up having to pay $2.7 million to his former trainer Nothing set in stone in regards to that number, but something that has been mentioned. Then later in 2021, Antonio Brown was sued by KBC Marketing for not paying his agent more than $2 million in earnings. The company sought $100,000 in damages at a minimum. Then just last year in March 2023, Antonio Brown bought 47% of the Albany Empire for $350,000, an arena football league team. Now, at this point, it kind of looked like Antonio Brown was maybe turning his, not turning his life around, but, but showing love to guys who were trying to make it into the NFL. He said he wanted to give guys a platform. He said he bought the team because he wanted to give guys a platform to showcase their skills, showcase what they can do and help them get back into the league and live out their dreams. I'm giving these guys jobs. I'm giving people careers. I'm giving people the opportunity to live out their dreams. I'm not Once Antonio Brown took over as part owner of the team, soon after the team was kicked out of the National Arena League because Antonio Brown fa failed to pay a $1,000 fine. He also failed to pay his coaches, his staff, and his players. He was also locking his players out of their hotel rooms. They couldn't get in, 
the players weren't getting paid, and then the team was kicked out of the league. But a lawsuit was never filed towards Antonio Brown for this incident, just a lot of missed payments. Not only a month later, Antonio Brown was sued by a celebrity jeweler who loaned him two diamond fingers that cost $500,000 each. Now, I know Antonio Brown has kind of gone crazy since he left the Steelers, but who the hell needs two diamond fingers? L l but who the hell needs a diamond finger, let alone two? What exactly does having a diamond finger... What is that... What does that do? What does that accomplish? What is the point of that? That thing is almost as stupid as the haircut he got years ago. Antonio Brown never returned the jewelry and was ordered to pay 1.1 million by a judge. So money on top of money, case after case, it just continued to get worse for Antonio Brown. And on top of that, he still owes $100,000 plus in credit card debt, $296 to a plumber, he also had to settle with private chefs and moving companies several times for unpaid wages as high as $40,000. There were also issues with him not paying child support and I'm pretty sure a lawsuit came from that as well. And here's the big one, he owes 8 creditors $3 million which adds up to almost half of his earnings remaining from the NFL. But Antonio Brown claimed to have less than $50,000 left in assets. Things have really gone downhill for Antonio Brown ever since. He really left the Steelers, went to the Raiders, had a whole helmet ordeal, had a whole offseason thing, was trying to punch the owner or something, got cut. Then he went to the Patriots for a week and then got cut Then Tampa. His NFL journey since leaving the Steelers, his life journey since leaving the Steelers has simply just gone downhill. Despite saying he has less than $50,000 in assets though, Antonio Brown still does have three homes and properties in the state of Florida. The main residency where he lives is an over-the-top mansion that he purchased for about $6.6 .6 million in 2016 and is now valued at over $8 million. His home has 12 bedrooms, has 18,000 square feet, includes a home theater, a wet bar, whatever the hell that is, a gym, an elevator, an enormous closet for all his random shoes and clothes. And I'm pretty sure he actually does have like a Jewish church thing in there for his friends. I believe he mentioned that at one point like he had Jewish friends who would come over and use that church. As for his other two homes in Florida, they add up to about $5 million total combined. So maybe Antonio Brown doesn't have less than $50,000 in asset. I don't know the whole situation. All I know is that Antonio Brown has filed for bankruptcy. Let me know what you make of the whole situation. Hopefully this is actually true and I didn't just make a video on a troll tweet, but I guess we'll find out. It seems legit and I don't think any of us are shocked if this is true that Antonio Brown did file for bankruptcy after all the legal stuff that has happened. Subscribe to my channel for more NFL content. Have a good one. Peace.